Larry died. I would like to say that, you know, I gave it 110% with Larry, but I, I really didn't. Anyways, I want to do a thrift flip. I have not done a thrift flip in maybe a few months. It hasn't been that long, but it's just what's really twirling in my brain right now. I want to do a few thrift flips. So that means we're going on a little field trip. We're going to the thrift store and the fabric store. I'm fishing. It's a big one. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm walking over to the thrift store now. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I want to do thrift flips. I have some ideas flowing in my brain, but when you go to the thrift store, you never know what you're going to find. So uh, I didn't want to be like, yes, I'm making this, 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 and then find none of those items at the thrift store. I'm just kind of leaving it up for fate. I'm just hoping I find some things, and then all of a sudden, boing, the thrift flip idea comes into my brain. I think that should have been like a ding sound. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Okay, I found one shirt, but I, I, that's just for me. Ooh, crochet. Anyways, fabric store next. Is, where is my car? I totally just walked pa way past my car. Okay, fabric store. I just had cheese for breakfast. Anyways, announcement. It is Benson's birthday. It's his birthday. He's eight years old today. And today we are having a birthday party for him, or at least I am because he doesn't understand it's his birthday. So his closest friend, Billy, AKA my nephew's coming over. Jack will be here. It'll be the three dogs and me celebrating your big day, the big eight. Anyways, I need to get started on these thrift flips before Benson's birthday party starts today. So yesterday, after I came home from thrifting, I got this, this gnarly migraine, so I ended up having to sleep for a bit. But then after, I drew the sketches of what I'm doing for each thrift flip. So let me show you the pieces I found at the thrift store. Okay, first one, this blouse. This is one of the thrift flips. Next one. Next one is this crochet top that I could not leave behind, but unfortunately, it's slightly ugly. It looks like it's ugly. Last one. Unfortunately, I did not thrift these, but I did thrift these a long time ago, and I had this one thrift flip with a pair of jeans I've been wanting to do for a really long time, so that is where these come in handy, and yes, they're thrifted. So I'm thinking the arrangement of how we're doing each thrift flip is we start easy, Hard, easy. We gotta get our, our muscles warmed up before we go. You know, we don't wanna pull a muscle and go too hard at the beginning. Okay, so first one is the jeans. This one, I have a picture. Actually, I have a picture for all of them. So let me show you what I'm gonna create. Huh? Which I know right off the bat, you're like, Jenna, that does not look easy. You said it was gonna be easy. It is easy when you thrift an unfinished quilt. If you don't have an unfinished quilt, that is okay. You could just cut out squares and hand sew them on. Kind of like these photos here, where they kind of get that patchwork look. It doesn't have to be an actual quilt, unless you want to go excerpt mode and make your own unfinished quilt, where it's just the cotton fabric. You do you, but me, easy mode. So my unfinished quilt comes in three sections, so I'm just gonna divide it quickly. Seam ripper. Next step, I am taking this spray glue and I'm spraying it on these pieces and then gluing it onto the pants. Okay, now I'm just gonna stick them on. Da -da -da. Not done yet, I wish it was that easy. You just slap them on after you spray them and then they will last forever. But no, that was just a spray glue to hold them down while I sew them. I have to hand sew them now. This looks so freaking good. Like this hand sewing is taking a little bit of time. I'm, I'm gonna admit, it's a little boring after a while. At first I was like, this is so relaxing. Now, after an hour or so of it, mm, if I could whip out my sewing machine, I would. This 
So Benson pretty much had his birthday party all day. And now that, you know, we're done the three hour walk and they're tired, cause I also have Billy here. This is Billy. Say hi, Billy. So now they've calmed down. I can get back to hand sewing and sewing my patches. Also, the picture I posted of Benson on Instagram today for his birthday got more views than any other photo I post. Everyone likes Benson more than me. It's just a Benson fan page now. So do you ever wondering what I do on my Saturday nights? It's hand sewing, quilts onto my pants, and hanging out with three dogs. I don't go out and party. No, I don't do anything else but hand sew and hang out with three dogs. Which I feel like a lot of you probably can relate with. Like, is it Saturday night right now while you're watching this? Are you hanging out with three dogs? Possibly. Almost done, one leg. Honestly, did not think it was gonna take this long. Okay, it actually hasn't been that long. I haven't worked about that long. So, Billy, Billy. Guys, I'm trying to show something. Okay, so I was able to use my sewing machine all the way down to this blue one here. So I'm thinking for the next one, I took it off because I'm gonna try to put it higher here because then I can sew the whole thing and then I can just finish it in like 15 minutes because this, like 10 minutes, this, five hours. Maybe not five hours, but a long time to hand sew around here, so. I got it glued again. Now I'm just gonna put it right up here. I should be able to sew it on the sewing machine with this. If I could sew this all one shot, freaking miracle. You know how much time that would save me? Hours. Hours that I could just sit and watch Netflix. Or I guess I could start on my next door flip. Made it all the way around. I just saved myself so much time. Well, good news. I just did the other patch in one full soup on my sewing machine, so it took me like 20 minutes to finish these pants, so thrift flip one, done. But yeah, it's now eight o'clock. Um, I'm gonna get back to my dog birthday party, entertain these little guys, because you only turn eight once, and we haven't cut the cake or, you know, exchanged gifts yet, so. What do you wanna do? I think he wants to go home to his mom and dad, but now, finishing this birthday party strong. Let's go, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll finish the next three flips tomorrow. Okay, bye. Morning. 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 Just trying to pump myself up, because today we are doing the difficult the, the medium difficult one, even though I don't think it's gonna be that difficult, like, it's crochet. Let me explain the project. So thrift flip number two. Okay, so here's my sketch. I'm thinking big collar, sleeves, maybe a little trim on the bottom to kind of tie it in all together. Because I saw this one top at the thrift store and I put it beside this top and it just, that's when, you know, the bells just went ding, ding in my head. So technically, I don't need you. You can go home. We need. Okay, so I'm thinking a mixture of weights and texture for this collar and like this color palette. Okay, I'm gonna start. And I guess how I'm gonna start I'm just gonna crochet right on this. Like I could make a separate collar and just have it flap over top, but I don't really feel like that's thrift flip. It has to be on here, so I'm legit just taking my yarn and starting to crochet right off it. So I have never crocheted or even sewn one of those big fluffy collars that I'm making. So I'm just kind of winging it. I know you're just to increase at certain parts, and so I'm just, winging that, I'm looking at the shape, I'm just looking at everything, looking at the color, the sketch I made, trying to make it similar, and hopefully I don't need to take anything apart. I definitely think I will, because if you watch my video when I made my sweater, I took that apart like four times. So I would be very shocked if I could do this whole collar first time, first try, without redoing anything. This shape doesn't look very good. 
I think I'm doing too many increases, so it's becoming too big, and I think the collar's just gonna become like wavy. I need to take this apart. Okay, take two. Okay, this time I'm gonna do like half the increases because last time I got way too excited and it was making it way too big. I do gotta say, these colors together looking pretty fantastic. Also, I'm going to get two more tattoos today. You know, it'd be nice if I could show up in this top. Maybe not actually. It's a long sleeve. I yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, no. Erase that thought from your brain. I just realized I had Greek yogurt all over my lips for the last 15, 20 minutes. That's so nice. How lovely. Okay, I'm gonna go pee, and then I'm gonna sit on the couch and crochet with my dogs. So for my plan for this, I'm, I'm kinda just feeling it out to see how this color goes, but I feel pretty confident that this pattern's good, so I'm gonna keep with my consistent increases and just go until this color is so big it covers my tits. Or, you know, an appropriate size that I feel like, eh, yeah, it's good. Whichever comes first. Still not big enough to cover my tits. I need to ask you guys a question. Does she look like a sailor right now? It might be the stripes with the oversized collar that's giving me sailor vibes, but right now it feels like I'm going back in time and making my Halloween costume. Maybe it'll be different when I try it on. I don't know. Or maybe I have to finish the collar and then it'll get better, or maybe it's just all the stripes I'm wearing right now. Well, I'm gonna continue still. I bought one of those big boxes of Christmas oranges two days ago and I probably eaten like 15 cents and I have been pleasantly surprised that I haven't had to spend the last two days on the toilet because these things will go through you just as quickly as you can eat them. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. They're just so good. I cannot help it. And until it, you know, <laughs> comes through me, I probably won't stop. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to learn the hard way. Is this collar almost done? Okay, I'll be back. I'm just gonna go get a tattoo quickly. I got two tattoos, a camera, cause that's my job, just camera. And then I got this angel. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work now. Okay, I did this much. So it's a pretty big collar and it looks like it's gonna sit over the edge of my shoulder, which I didn't really factor that it also goes outwards and not just downwards, so um, we'll see. I don't want to make it too big and then it's like a freaking umbrella over my shoulders, so I'm gonna try this on. Then we see if we need to adjust. What do we think? Does it look good? I feel like it looks good. Looks like a good size where it pretty much is almost like an umbrella on my shoulder, but not quite. Okay, I have a brand new idea. Love the collar, by the way. This is this is sick. I want to make some collars just to put on my normal clothes now. But aside from that, I think this is so good. I need to make the rest of it so good. And I feel like what's lacking in the shirt is the length of it. It's kind of like, eh. so I'm thinking we crop it here. Maybe do a nice little border around it and chop the sleeves like fruit ninja. And then maybe do like a nice little border as well and then border around here maybe yeah just we're just fine-tuning now this is the this good base based off this shirt I'm just gonna cut it at the blue and then I can sew a hem with it and that will be plenty hopefully this was a good choice no going back now and then where was I gonna crop the bottom of the top I feel like mid blue probably should measure this but eh. Okay, I'm gonna try to hem it now. The line could have been straighter, but that's okay. This hem looks like trash. We're gonna have to try to hide this. This looks good short sleeve and cropped. Day and night better. Honestly, I don't even think I wanna do any trim on here. This actually just looks really good the way it is. So I think I actually might just do a border around the collar here 
maybe add some little strings and then call it a day. Or actually, maybe I'll do a little trim on the side just because, yeah, the, the seam looks like trash. Morning. So last night I was working on the sleeve because I was trying to figure out how I could hide my not so nice hem I did. And I came up with this, which I feel like is a great solution. This covers it, but it also looks pretty snazzy. So I'm gonna do that to the other sleeve and also the bottom of the top, same color. Not changing anything, I like it. So my hack in life is that I use this steamer for all my crochet and knitting projects to make it nice and flat. Cause like right now this is curving, no bueno. Okay, that looks way better. It's flat now. And that took exactly 33 seconds. Told you it's a good hack. Last step. I'm thinking we try adding a border around the collar and see if it looks better. Not 100% confident it'll look better, but I don't know, I just wanna try it. What do we think of the collar? Do we like this side or this side? This side looks way better, right? The little whoop, the little, the little, I don't know, the shaping, the little point to the tit at the bottom. I like that. We're gonna continue it. So the collar's done, sleeves are done, bottom's hemmed. Now for the most exciting part. We get to weave in all the ends now, or I get to weave in all the ends now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like my board impressions is getting better by the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why they didn't cast me. That was the last one. Nice. Should I add a little bow? Okay, so last thrift flip. The easiest one by far, all you need is a blouse and some rickrack ribbon tape. This stuff, the wavy stuff. And with those two, we should get something like this. We also need a sewing machine, unless you want to hand sew it. You do you, but you saw how long it took me to do my quilted pants, so I would recommend a sewing machine. Let's kick it. Probably shouldn't have started with the most visible thing on this sweater or blouse, but eh. I don't think these pins are helping. Let's do it without pins. Yeah, this is way easier. Okay, for me to get a perfect edge on this rick rack, I'm gonna do something slightly sketchy. Maybe not sketchy, risky. So if you're doing this at home, don't watch this and don't do this. Ow. If you're gonna stop your rick rack from fraying, maybe do it before you sew it on. Just a suggestion, don't do it on your clothes. First one, done. Now that I learned that you can uh, finish the edges with your lighter before you sew it on, this should get easier. Perfect, why did I know this hack before? So pretty much for this thrift flip, you can just put Rick Rack anywhere you want. Next place I'm gonna put it is along the bottom of the shirt here. I'm so excited to be done with thrift flips. I end up going to my local fabric store and look at the size of this Rick Rack. It's Jenna size. So I decided I would get it and I'm gonna put it on the collar up here. Why is this one lighting on fire? And oh no, it's smoky in here. And then I gotta open the door. Uh oh. My smoke alarm's very sensitive, so I don't want it to go off because it really scares Jack. Okay, little change of plans. I originally was gonna use this chunky one, like, you know, I showed you already. But now that I'm lining it up on this collar, it's too big. It's, it needs to be like half the size or the collar needed to be bigger, unfortunately. So, plan B, we're gonna use this orange, which is left over from the dog bed I made. Okay, another change of plans. I wanna do it on the cuff right here. Right there. I think we're done. K 
Can you see the bump on my forehead right here? I was trying to clean my place and make it nice the background to show you guys my thrift flips. And when I was putting my shoes away, I was opening the door and bending down and putting my shoes in and I smoked my head. Like smoked my head where I like <coughs> with my jaw, you know? <coughs> like concussion worthy. Anyways, let me show you my thrift flips I did. First one, the jeans. Let me try them on for you. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! There's nothing on the back, so there's no point in me really doing any 360s for you guys. The money is here. This is how they turned out. Honestly, when I say this, I mean it. I have been dreaming about a pair of pants like this for ages. Like, I have been looking for quilt to put on a pair of jeans like this forever. Like at least two years, maybe three years, two years. I've been waiting for this dream to become a reality. And today, it did. Okay, next thrift flip. The medium hard thrift flip. This is actually my first time trying it on. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is probably the best thrift flip I have ever done in my life. And I've probably done at least 15 thrift flips. Look at this. This doesn't look like this was an ugly long sleeve top before. No siree. This looks like a big designer. Look, I could see a price tag on this bad boy for like three, four hundred dollars. But no, I didn't pay that much. I ended up spending like 12 plus six hours of my time. Honestly, I'm kind of speechless with this one. I just really want to make my own crochet collar now that I can just put with everything because this, beautiful. I never want to take this off. I'm gonna sleep in it tonight. Okay, now for the, the kicker. Last one, which I feel like anybody can do as long as they have a blouse, a sewing machine, and rope rack tape binding. Pretty simple, and if you just don't like it, you can see rip it off. Pretty much every, no, this one I can't really go back because I cut the arms and the body off, but this, if I didn't like this quilt on here anymore, I could just seam rip it off. And that's what I like about non-mean to your clothes like thrift flips, is that you can always change it back if you don't like it. You don't ruin the clothes. Okay, but here's the last thrift flip. Hey. Hey. It's very simple, but I feel like just adding this little bit of detail around the collar and the pocket here, the arm, the bottom. Fire. Like, look at that pocket. This is exactly where I want to put an extra toonie. Probably wouldn't wear it like this, but I just want to show you what it would look like if you did wear it like this. I'll style it better, don't worry. Anyways. That is it for today's thrift flip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do make any of these thrift flips, which I don't really think anybody will, let me know. Let me know on Instagram. Let me know in the comments. Tell Benson, I don't know. Just let me know. But I'm good though. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.